Hi, I'm here to answer questions that you've brought up with me. And this question came up in a recent conversation I was having with a colleague of mine named Josh. So Josh, there's your shout out. Promised I would give him a shout out on the video. And he was asking about why is it that when we get excited, our voices change pitch? And what can we do to help regulate our pitch when we get excited? So first, let's talk about why that happens. So what Josh is referring to is that sometimes when we get excited and we're really excited about something, our pitch can get really high and squeaky and oh my God, oh my God, I quit. Right? And he's asking, okay, why does that happen? And what can I do to help regulate that? So first let's talk about why it happens. When you get excited, about anything, your energy tends to move upward through your body. And as your energy is moving upward through your body, right, that's going against gravity, which is pushing you down. So things are getting tense as you go up through the body and the breathing is getting more restricted, which means your pace is also probably speeding up. So everything is just getting more and more and more excited and oh my God, right? Um, and, uh, and there's actually, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. So let's just start with that, that there's nothing wrong with that happening to you. Excited feelings are exciting and there's nothing wrong with expressing them in that way. So I just want to start at the offset with saying that. And I want to say that because there's something in the question about how do I regulate my pitch that in order for you to think about regulating your pitch, you're going to have to think about sort of controlling the feeling in some way. And, you know, I just feel like life is too short for that. We don't want to like dampen our feelings so that the voice doesn't do that, right? We want to feel and, and really enjoy those feelings of excitement. So let's instead though, but at the same time, so even while there's nothing wrong with this sort of really excited thing coming through the voice, there's nothing wrong with it you might not feel like it's the right tone for every situation that you might be excited in, or if you want to shift it for some reason, then let's talk about how you can do it. And let's talk about how you can do it in a way where you don't have to dampen or suppress the feelings of excitement. You don't have to think about regulating your pitch. And we'll do that by just shifting the way that you're thinking about the excitement. So, can you actually, if we think about excitement as the energy is moving up through the body, the breath is getting tight, and I don't have time to say what I'm gonna say, so everything gets really high squeaked and pitched, right? There's a kind of rushing energy to that excitement. So what if instead we reframe and we think about, can you actually give yourself the time to ground into that excitement and really enjoy that excitement? So if you think of the energy of excitement as rushing this way, then at the same time, can you think about really grounding yourself into that? So that energy is still going to happen, but there's also a rootedness to that energy. And you don't have to force the rootedness. If you just, as you feel that excitement moving through you, also think about where am I being supported by the surface that I'm on? So practice that now. As you're sitting, where are you being supported by the chair that you're on? Or if you're standing, where are you being supported by the floor? And can you just acknowledge where you feel that support of the chair or the floor at the same time as you're getting really excited so that there's still this sense of excitement moving through you, but it's not forcing you to breathe more shallowly or move into a really high place because it's rooted. So the energy is moving up and down at the same time. So that is really the key step that from there, can you allow yourself the time and space to breathe? So you're feeling excited, you're grounding into that excitement, which means you can allow the body to breathe with that excitement, you have the time to do so, so that things aren't starting to get really tight in the breathing mechanism, which again, sends your pitch shooting upwards because you're gonna have to speak with tension if you're not allowing yourself to breathe. And if you have to speak with tension, the pitch often gets hiked up. So ground, allow yourself to breathe, and then take your time to really express your excitement. So often if we're not grounded, if we're breathing in a tense way, then everything has to really speed up and the voice doesn't have time to resonate deeply. Instead, if you ground, if you allow yourself to enjoy your excitement so that you can breathe and you can be really excited about what you're trying to say and you're giving yourself the space and time to really enjoy that excitement, which means that your voice can move throughout your range as you're excited. It's not going to get moved up into a particular high pitch. So 
That's the reframe that can really help you express your excitement with the fullness of your voice. It's grounding, it's allowing yourself to breathe, and it's taking your time. And all of that really encompasses, let's reframe the enjoy, let's reframe the excitement into, let me give myself time to really enjoy this excitement that I'm feeling, and let me give myself the time to express that enjoyment and that excitement to you. And I do that by grounding in it, allowing myself to breathe, and letting myself take my time with my pace. And then you'll notice when I'm excited, my pace still moves up, but it also moves down, or my pitch rather still moves up and it also moves down, but it's happening throughout the range. So those are my tips. I hope they're helpful. Next time you get excited, give them a try, let me know how it goes, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.